Okay, I want to show you one way to get um, aerial photos and use them as a base map here in um, ArcGIS. So, uh, first thing I want to do is go up here to the Add Data. There's a little drop down, and I want to choose Add Base Map. Now, if you are logged into your ESRI account within the software, this probably looks different. I'm not logged in, and this is what it looks like for me. And what I want is right here the very first thing, which is imagery. I'm going to add it. Now this is online, so it's fetching that from the ESRI website. And here you've got imagery for the entire world. But um, you know this is overkill, and so we want to just get imagery for our area of interest. Let's go ahead and add another shape file. So this is a shapefile that marks the location of Blackburn Hall. You can see it here right where it's supposed to be. So now let's zoom in on that a little bit. So we're going to zoom in. And now we've zoomed in quite a way. Here we're still not very close. You can see Kentucky Lake and Barkley Lake. And here's our dot. Let's zoom in again. And so each time it's going and it's fetching these new images from online. And so now you can kind of see the Murray area. Let's zoom in some more. Okay, so now we're starting to see campus. And here's the corner of Blackburn. So now I'm going to zoom in a little by little and watch how this changes. You see it's kind of faint. We'll zoom in, zoom in. And there it changed to very high resolution. So depending upon how far you're zoomed in determines the resolution of the underlying image. So there you go. We have um, an aerial photo that we can use as a base map now. And since it's uh, online, as we move around, it'll go and fetch new photos. So we can kind of scroll around and it'll go and download the proper images if we want to. Um, side note here, has anyone ever noticed the north arrow that we have built into campus? If you look, here's Blackburn right here, and look at this sidewalk that's just east of Blackburn. You probably walked on this a hundred times, but did you notice that it was a north arrow? You've got the weighted end, you've got the pivot, and then you've got the arrowhead pointing north right there right next to where Geosciences is headquartered. Pretty clever, I think. Okay, anyway, that's it. We've got the aerial photo we can use as a base map. Here's the thing. You might want to use this sometime when you're offline. Uh, it's a large file. Maybe if you're somewhere with a slow internet connection. Sometimes the servers get busy. It would be advantageous to have a copy of this that we can use when we're offline. So let's uh, show you one way that we can do that. So the first thing I want to do is I want to turn off the shape file that shows Blackburn. So I have just the aerial photo. Now I'm going to go to File, Export Map, and I'm going to give it a name here. Let's call it uh, Blackburn photo and there are many different ways we can save these the one that works for me is a TIFF which is going to be a geo TIFF so it's a TIFF type image that has geographic data associated with it so I'm going to choose TIFF uh, you can play with the resolution uh, higher is probably better so I'm going to try 600 see how it goes and then you have this write world file. You want that to be checked because that's going to help georeference this image. Then you also want to go here to format and you also want to make sure the geo tiff tags are written. If both of those are checked, then theoretically this blackburn photo.tif should be a georeferenced aerial image that we can use even when we're offline. So we're going to save it. And we're done. So now let's see if that worked. So I'm going to start a new map. 
no need to save those changes and I'm gonna go ahead and add that Blackburn point file so here's the point that indicates where Blackburn Hall is now let's add our aerial photo which was Blackburn photo dot tiff add it you might get a warning about pyramids yes we wanna create the pyramids and you see in the table of contents it's added it doesn't look very good here probably because we're zoomed in too far so let's zoom out you see we were zoomed in so far we were just looking at pixels on the roof of Blackburn and so when we zoom out that's as far out as we can uh, well, we can find, oh, there we went a little bit further. Okay, good. And there you have it. So you've got the aerial image that now you can add to any GIS map, but you don't have to be online. The um, last thing that I want to mention is that, you know, don't forget that you've got this image from somewhere else. And so you always need to cite your sources. You always need to have metadata that indicates where you got the file from. So whenever you do a project, if you use one of these, uh, even if you use this one that you created, uh, ultimately you got it from ESRI and you need to cite them. So that's one way to use uh, aerial photos as a base map. So I hope this helps and I'll see you later.